Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is Ramadan the 13th, 1438, June the 8th, I think, 2017. And it is sometimes in the evening. The reason I'm making this video or filming this video is for kids, young, old, boys and girls, daughters, sons, <coughs> and nephews and nieces. And especially in this country, and I'm not talking again about Muhammad Shiban and his children or families. I'm talking about in general, you are the most supposedly free person or in your age, you know, in the whole globe. You live in the United States of America where a child, a youngster, can take his parents to court for abuse, okay? Just to go and report to them. <laughs> Call the police. All right? So when you claim or you don't do, you don't come to your obligation as a daughter or a son to one of your parents, especially, then the part in, in your shoulder is not in the state or the court, mom, or dad, or anyone else. Why? Because it's your decision to make. Certain age, you can can do that. But once you get to, you know, become seven or eight, you distinct between right and wrong, and you ask for things, and you become, you, you get what you want, pretty much. So when you are neglecting one of your parents, or you're not fulfilling your obligation as a son or a daughter, then that's your own responsibility. Again, I am not talking about Muhammad Shiban and his family. I'm talking in general. For all the young people, boys or male and females, ittaqillah and live up to your creed, whatever it is, but be sincere. And no one is gonna bail you out. No one. And you can lie and cheat or, or you know, pull a fast one or get through a, a tundrum or, or none, none of that is gonna work. It's your responsibility and you're gonna be asked individually this is Deen Allah. This is the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is nothing, you know, uh, <laughs> oh, well, I am uh, this and who told me that. It's in your own. Once you get a certain age, you're going to be responsible for everything that you do. And I'm not saying that out of uh, warning or being mean or what have you. I'm just throwing it out there for everyone to at least, you know, learn, study, and may, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy and open your heart and your eyes to live a good, wholesome life so you can earn this life and live happy and also earn the hereafter, which is paradise the, everyone is going to be asked and I'm not saying that again <laughs> I'm just saying that because that's what it is there is nothing there you know it's not nothing is heading nothing is heading the other thing that I wanted to briefly talk about the responsibility of a Muslim men and women and kids, youngsters, 
that they live in a society that is not non-Islamic. Okay? <clears throat> you are an example, a living example of your of your beliefs, of your deen. It doesn't matter where you go, it doesn't matter who does what. You got to be a Muslim. You got to perform your deen and live it, live your life. Again, the driving force in your life should be Aqidat al-Tawheed, oneness creed. There is no excuse again. When there is things happen to your neighbors because they don't know, it's your responsibility. You would be asked why you didn't bring it to their attention or what, at least why did you, why you didn't live your deen, why you didn't live as an, a, a way of, of life that reflect on your on your beliefs or creed it, it, there is i don't know why this is very hard to understand when people just don't see it everyone has a responsibility and it's not only in muslims every decent human being has because we all been created on that fitra on the fitra of la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah so there is no, especially in this country, again, I'm emphasizing because I have been here and I see there is no, if you want to be a villain or you want to be corrupted or a drug addict or anything, you get the freedom to do so. If you want to be a good person and perform and get education and get all of the good things and be kind, you also have the right to do so. It is no one is going to force you unless you do it yourself. And that's what the Sahyuniya Al-Alamiya is doing. They are destroying the morals and values and spreading all these shortcomings and diseases and addictions so they can continue to commit the crimes against the humanity, against everyone and everything. Why? Because they are in constant war against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the killers of prophets and messengers that they were kicked out of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and everyone and everything la'anahum mal'uni alright so again this is for our you know people that they claim to be religious or leaders or, or good Samaritan or what have you do live your deen, your creed. Do live and be an example. Be an example because we all gonna be responsible about everyone around us and everything that is being spoiled and being destructed and being destroyed. All right? Do your part because no one again is gonna come in our defense except your deeds. Except your deeds. Be sincere. That's it. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. May Allah سبحانه وتعالى bestow mercy upon أمتي محمد and grant us victory against حزب الشيطان and the Sahyuniya العالمية. We live and die on and for لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله. We seek in the shahada. We're not friendly. We're not going to be complacent. And we are going to bring it to the attention of the governments to take care of their people and start doing right by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.